What is up YouTube, Lazy Lama here, and here we are with a new game called Slay the Spire. And I put about five to six hours into the game so far, and uh, I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite games currently. I, mean, I really haven't been gaming a ton lately, uh, and Slay the Spire has been absolutely amazing. Uh, it is such a fun game. I highly recommend watching the video and picking it up yourself if you enjoy it. It is a very, very addicting game. Again, I haven't, I haven't even beaten a run yet. Um, I failed every single run I've tried so far. I've done a bunch of them. Um, well, there's two characters you can choose from. We're going to stick with the more basic character, the Ironclad here. Um, and he has an ability that he starts with that basically at the end of combat, he heals for six. Um, so it kind of helps keep you alive throughout the run. Um, I do better with this character, but I like playing the other character better. It's kind of weird. Um, but anyways, when you start off, um, you're not going to have this right away. Um, after you get like the tutorial done and stuff, this will start happening. But uh, basically, we get to choose something to start with. Um, so we can either upgrade a card... We can attain a random common relic, which I'm probably going to do. Get a curse, which is a... It's a this is a card game. Um, so a curse is a card that normally has a negative effect. Uh, but gain a bunch of gold that we can either use to buy more relics or get better cards. Or lose your starting relic and get a random boss relic, which can be good. We're going to just go with a common relic, which can be either really good or really bad. Upon uh, pick up, upgrade two random attacks. That's not the greatest, uh, because we don't really have great attacks, but... I guess it makes two of our strikes better. Uh, these are some cards we'll actually want to try to remove from the deck as they're very basic. Um, we get a bunch more as we go. But uh, this is kind of the map of the first act. Um, and I've gotten on... There's three acts, I believe. I've gotten on to the third act multiple times, but just never can get through it. So what I'm going to try to do is try to make an active video. Um, and I'm probably going to die at some random point through them. And Sometimes they're just terrible runs. But... Uh, Again, this game's awesome. Um, I've been playing a lot of it, like I said, so we'll probably be doing quite a few videos of it. Um, just to kind of heads up. And uh, you have to choose your path, and you you know you can take different paths. This is a store, um, which we don't have enough money to really do anything with. I think I'm going to go this route. We're going to take two question marks, which isn't a ton of fighting, but gets us to an early couple of these, which we can either heal at or upgrade cards, which is going to be the main idea. I'm not going to have a ton of cards by then, but let's, let's go for it. Um... So this guy normally starts off, I believe actually always, he buffs himself, and then next turn he attacks us. So basically we have three energy, and we have five cards to start with on this character. I believe the other one draws six. Um, and it's kind of going to be random of what's in your deck here. Do you start with ten cards, and you cycle through, and you add more cards as you go. But he's not attacking, so we don't need a defender to add block. So we're going to just straight up um, attack him. And this first run, I'm going to try to explain a lot of things. Um... Again, I'm new myself, so I really don't know exactly what I'm doing. But uh, these videos are going to be on the longer side. Um, definitely. Uh, so he's going to be hitting it for 6. We do heal for 6. And what I'm going to try to do, because I'm knowing that, I'm going to be willing to take the that damage. And this is going to do 8 damage and add vulnerability, which if you highlight it, it takes 50% 50, 50 more damage. So you see this card normally does 9. If I actually attack him, it's going to do 13. Which is going to put him at 7, which is definitely in my kill zone. Um... So if he hits me for 6 and I can kill him next turn, which I have to draw at least 2 strikes for, um, or an upgraded strike. Um, cool, we got our upgraded strike, and he's vulnerable, so it doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to be able to kill him, and we're going to get our heal off of this, so we're back up to 80 anyways. So that's why I didn't worry about defending that. Um, I actually love this card. I've never used Searing Blow. Never actually used that. That seems like it'd be really good too. But I really like this. And this actually causes zero energy, which is nice. But you gotta think it's a low damaging card that you're picking up. Um, and if you draw it, it still counts as a draw. So it can be good, can be bad. But this is awesome. Um, especially when you get upgrading on that. And the question marks can be random um, of anything. They can be good, they can be bad. Um, we're actually going to take that. Uh, it gives us a bad card that we don't want. At the end of our turn, we get a weak. Um, but we get a bunch of gold. Um, so I'm going to take it, but it can be anything from combat to, you know, again, something really good. Again, I think we want to go that route. We might take a second, depending on our HP after this, we might go a different enemy. I'm going to have to check up. So these guys are interesting. Um, all right, we got the weak thing. We're going to be able to get an attack in. Um, and what's going to happen is they're going to block themselves with this much after our first attack. Um, so ideally you'd like to kill them in one go. Um, that's not going to happen for us. What I am going to do, however... We're going to take 6 damage no matter how we play this. And we're going to get weakened. Which means we're going to actually take more than 6 damage. Uh, I could kill this guy. But he's not attacking. So that's not really the ideal thing to do. We're going to do that. And then we're going to play a defend. 
So we only take one damage. Actually, again, we're weakened. Actually, weak sorry, weakened makes us attack less. Um, we do 25% less damage. For some reason, I was thinking we were going to get hit. So he took one damage there. Um, and then ideally, we're weak. So I lied. Uh, we're going to kill him, so we're not at least going to take damage. And then I'm going to hit him with this. Um, as it does more damage, and we're not going to be able to... We don't need to defend. Plus, he's weak for next turn. Uh, so he's going to most likely add something debuff to us. They just keep weakening us. Um, so... We're just going to do that anyways. It doesn't matter. Um, he's dead. We heal back up to full. Uh, things are going really well. Um, honestly, I've never really used any of these either. And you don't have to get a card. You don't always want a card. That seems like it could be really good. I'm actually going to take that. I've never used it, but... Uh, we're going to go for the Elite, which is what this guy is. And what that is, is uh, actually depending on how this goes, we got a combat, so maybe not. But uh, So it's free to use. Actually, they're not attacking. What? Oh, man. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, anyways, we're going to try to get him dead first. I'm going to throw up the blocks just because I can. They're not attacking, but we had nothing else to do. They're just going to debuff us. I don't know why I did the weakening. It's, it was literally the biggest waste of a card ever. Um... We're going to be taking damage here, no matter how we play this. We can just kill him straight up with that lower one. It doesn't matter which one we use. Um, so right now, I'm debating between either blocking three, which means we're going to take five, because they've got something to make us block for less, or just doing six dam or ten, ten damage because he's vulnerable. So we're going to take that because the vulnerability is on him, um, and just kind of continue. So he's basically adding a kind of a curse card temporarily to our deck for the rest of this game. Uh, and he's not weak anymore. We aren't either. So, I think he's got 19 health. We can do 12 there plus 9. I mean, that's plenty. We can go for the kill. Um, we're not going to heal up to full, which isn't ideal. But uh, we got a regen potion, which could be good. And then it's not really giving me a lot of cards I'm used to using. Um, Iron Wave is not bad, actually. So is Heavy Blade. If we get to start getting a lot of strength stuff... Heavy Blade can be ridiculous, but because we don't have any of that, we're not guaranteed to draw any of that. We're going to go that route. We're going to go for this Elite. They give Relics when you beat them, so it's kind of the goal there. He is attacking. We might as well play this. It's going to make him do less on his first turn, because we're going to just soak up that 9 damage. Um, I like to play aggressive at the start. He didn't actually buff himself. No, he's not. All right, sorry, he, he doesn't always buff himself. I believe he does buff himself normally, though. Um, so we can go for more. Oh, that's not our vulnerable. I thought that was Thunderclap. We could do Thunderclap, but we still vulnerable. Um, he is going to hit us. So we are going to, we're going to go for this, which is one energy. It's going to actually give us five blocks. We're only going to take two damage. And then we're going to go for as much damage here as we can. Uh, so he's got us weakened, but we also have him vulnerable. So we're actually getting 25% more damage. Um, and it should wear off here. Actually, no, sorry. He was debuffing us at that same attack. So we're losing a bit of health here, and right now we're gonna go for this, and then, yeah, I thought we'd do it. I have enough of that, so. Boom, heal for six. We are down a bit of health, um, which can be a problem. I really like this card upgraded, and we are gonna get a chance to upgrade a card, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, we don't need to heal here. I mean, we can heal 24, basically 30% of your health here. Um, which is way over capping. We are going to fight a boss after this, but I'm going to say no to that. What does this actually do? Two weak to all enemies. Um, so you can see we can kind of upgrade any card we have. Um, the nice thing about this card is it makes it cost nothing. So basically we're gaining two energy, and it gets rid of the card for the rest of combat. But if you have a nice hand and you need to play extra cards, it's amazing. Um, it has saved my life so many times to get some blocks up when I wasn't going to have a chance. <sighs> I'm not a fan of this guy. Um, or I should say these guys. They are pretty annoying. Um, we're going to do this. And what this is going to do is they have these things called here. They, these little things here which make it so you can't basically apply something to them. Um, I don't know how it's explained. I forget what it's called. I should have read it before I got rid of it. it right, right there. Basically they get rid of um, effects. Actually, not to—he's gonna inflict a negative effect. But yeah, get, you 
they don't take an effect basically. So like vulnerable here, it wouldn't actually have been able to apply. But now what I can do is we're gonna again we're gonna soak up the damage. We're gonna just try to burn this guy down as quick as possible, um, and do that. And we're gonna get weakened here, which does really stink. That card's annoying. We do want to remove that um, kind of as soon as possible. These guys are gonna add a bunch of these dark cards called dazes to our deck temporarily, and uh, they're gonna just fill up our hand and get really annoying and. Um, we're gonna hate it. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is that does five, or we can just do straight. Go for ten there. We're gonna burn you next. We're gonna gain five. We don't need to use any of this stuff. Um, these are just potions we can use, and um, the regen potion will heal us. He's gonna keep debuffing us by adding more things to our deck, and it's gonna get really frustrating and annoying as time goes on. Uh, so right here, we have this in our hand. We're going to be taking some damage. So honestly, I don't really need to use it right now. And again, I only get one of these in my hand for combat. So I'm actually not going to be doing it. We are going to use this. Just going to make them vulnerable, which is nice. Um, we're going to smack this guy. And we're only going to... I could play this and actually play both defense and take no damage. But I'm okay placing it once and taking three damage. Uh, again, because I know we're going to be getting healed at the end. We are losing a bit of HP. Um, we do have to be concerned on where our pathing is going to be after this. But... Uh, I play a little dangerously. This first act, I'm not generally afraid of. I've never... I've, honestly, my first run ever, I beat it. So, see, this is what I mean. This is where we kind of start taking a taking a turn for the worse here. I can't actually block that damage. And I have three days in my hand. Um, thankfully, they get removed when you get rid of them. They don't cycle back into your um, discard pile. Um, so, that's really nice. I didn't actually realize I ever told you exhausted cards. And we are getting really screwed right now. Um, actually, not really. Because we can get rid of that, we can block. This guy's not even attacking, he's just adding more dazes, but uh, we did have one energy we couldn't use, which is really bad. Uh, you want to try to use up all your energy. Um, well, this turn was made really easy. Not really much of an option there. We are going to block everything, and now we're reversing one of them. We can pretty much play safe with our HP and try not to take any damage. I did get the doubt, which really stinks. Uh, and he's not attacking, so we're just going to kind of add the vulnerability and try to burn him as much as possible. Should almost positively die next turn. And he does vulnerable, so a strike alone will do it. As long as we don't get a terrible draw. Ah, we are debuffed. Never mind, I lied. And we're going to actually take three more damage. These days is screwed us. <laughs> Pretty bad right now. I was going to say, if this happens again, I'm going to be real upset. So we beat it. We're going to heal up. We're going to get a, the option of a relic, which is pretty nice. And actually, so this is a pretty awesome with that curse we have in our hand, as this will make it so we can't be weakened. Um, it's pretty nice. It's not amazing, but I'm not going to complain about it. And Cleave is one of my favorite um, cards ever. And we're going to actually upgrade it right here. I could heal, um, which might be the option. We're going to heal. We're going to get a relic of the chests here. So we could do that and then chance fighting another elite, but that gives two combats after we have to do. That's a risky, probably deathful route. Uh, I kind of want to play it safe with you guys and do that. I would love to do here then the shop. Yeah, that's actually the path we're taking. We're just going to go straight up. Um, I don't know what I was trying to do there. We're not going to heal. We're going to do the cleave upgrade, which makes it do 10. Uh, it's really awesome, and actually, what is this upgrade to? Seven, that's not bad, but I really, really like that. It's to all enemies, so a lot of the time, it's only going to do ten if you're reversing one enemy, but when you're reversing multiple enemies, it adds up. Um, please give us something good. Anchor, that is actually really good. Um, makes so I don't really have to block much on my first turn of combat. You see when we come in here, um, so here's two enemies. Um, so you're going to see this pops in. We got this. We can't be weakened now, so you're going to see at the end of this turn, this is going to try to apply and not actually do anything to us. Um, so what we're going to do is I want to kill, generally want to kill this first just because this guy annoys me. We do get vulnerable after we killed it, but we're going to go for it as I'm going to hit this pretty hard right now too. Um, he actually died really fast. I didn't expect him to die, but he's going to buff himself. Uh, but you see, we can't be weakened. We're immune. Um, thanks for Ginger. That's actually awesome. I don't really need to remove that card from my deck now. Um, so that should work out pretty good, but that was actually really simple. We're going to heal up our six, uh, 
So I'm already pretty glad I didn't take any kind of healing. And um, we're going to go for Headbutt here. Again, I don't really know what kind of deck we're going for. We're kind of just taking one of every card. I haven't skipped really anything yet. But uh, this is going to deal with some damage. And then place a card for my discard pile at the top of my draw pile. So it's going to guarantee I can cycle back a card if I want to. Which is awesome. We have a decent sum of money too. So these guys, you want to kill around the same time if, if possible. Uh, this guy is attacking for six. Again, I'm going to heal for six. So my goal is going to be just to burn him. I just realized this is Thunderclap and not Cleave. Um, 13. He's dead next turn. We take six damage, I think. Is the right route. We can only carry three potions, so we do want to use these at some point. Um, oh, I forgot we started with 10 block. I don't know why I was getting rid of the block. That was the only option I could have done was what I did. Uh, so he's going to do 9. What I'm going to do here is strike. Strike. We're going to play this because the turn's almost over. And uh, we're going to try to take as little damage as possible. So we're going to take 3 damage still. But uh, again, I think it's okay to deal with. And then this is free. So we might as well weaken him, which is going to make us only take 10. He's not vulnerable. So he can take 10 damage there and 9 damage. I mean, it's the only options we have. We can put, honestly, Cleave's going to be our better damaging. We're going to still take 5 damage. Um, so we're taking a total of 8 this turn. Um, this whole combat, it's not too bad. And again, put that in our hand just because guarantee kill. Get our 6 HP. Uh, energy potion. So that's going to give us 2 energy. I'm actually going to discard one of the dexterity ones and take that. Uh, and then I'm thinking about another cleave. Um, yeah, honestly, I like it. I might upgrade it again, actually. I don't think we need a rest right now. So headbutt does 12. And you weaken 2. Yeah, Cleave is going to be the best thing to upgrade right now. And then we're going to go this route because I want to hit the shop. I want to see if we get anything lucky here. Um, every three turns, we gain an energy. Not bad. Raise max HP by 10. That's actually really good. And then whenever you apply vulnerability, also apply weak. We don't have many ways to... Actually, we do kind of have some ways to apply vulnerability. It's not worth the gold, I don't think. This is on sale. I do like this card. It's not bad, as well as this is really good, but that's expensive for what it is. Shrug it off's nice. What do we got down here? Innate's not bad. Deal six damage to all enemies. It's literally just a free six damage to everything at the beginning of the game. I don't see how we don't take that. I've never had that, but I don't see how we don't take it. That's kind of good, too. I think I'm just going to go with that. I normally don't do that. Let's get 90 HP. We could have removed a card, too, which may have been a better option, actually, than that. But I'm going to say I'm happy with that. What is this? Oh. Okay. All right, that's an elite. Um, all right. This is not the best thing that could have happened. But I'm not going to say it's a bad thing either. We're going to get the apply. Now that we applied this, this should do more than six, right? Yeah. Nine, which makes sense to use. And then doesn't show what Cleave will do. That'll do 13. Cleave's gone, so there's really nothing to put back in my hand. That's going to do 13 as well. I do have the... I don't really want to bash back in the hand. This should do more. Yeah, this is 15. That was probably the best thing. He's going to buff himself. I think he gives him some strength. Uh, whenever I play a skill, uh, he gains two strength. So we want to burn him down as fast as possible. That's a skill. I gain two strength, but get one weak. I don't think that's worth it. I don't know if we just take six damage and don't block. Because I think if we block, he gains more than what he has. This is going to be an experiment. Yeah, it was a bad idea. Yeah, we don't we don't want to do that. Don't want to play skills. We should 
I mean, we technically taking less damage, but that happens. Um, that's an attack that gives us block. It's gonna give us five, and I can do twelve more. But we're gonna take twenty-four damage. There's nothing I can do about it. We take it no matter how we play it. Um, that's not looking great. I mean, we're gonna take nineteen, but. Alright, he's doing 24 again. I'm actually a little nervous. No, we can kill him. Whew! I could have been really bad. Um, game one artifact. We actually don't want that. What that does is make it so you don't take like a debuff. At the start of each combat. Okay. I didn't realize we'd get a reward like that from it, which is kind of cool. Add a card to my deck. Warcry is really nice as you just let you draw a card and then put one back in your hand. Um, I kind of want to try this out. I've never used it. We're going to definitely heal here, by the way, because this boss could be real bad. So we're not quite at 80. I don't know what boss this is. All right, this boss sucks. I don't think we have a great deck for it, but let's do our best. We don't really need a weak in it. Um, I mean, let's, let's bash it. Let's do that. So I'm only gonna do four. Add one more vulnerable, which could be nice, but um, I think we're better off doing that, and then just calling it a day. The second thing is it doesn't attack us on turn one. So now what he did is he put himself in defensive mode. Whenever we attack him, we're gonna take three damage. We need to do no in a couple turns. He comes out of it. I think we need to do a certain amount of damage, but I don't remember where I see that. Uh, so we're definitely going to go for the burn down here. I should have actually done this first. But I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I should have played Dex Potion. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this fight, so I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to heal up three damage. Um, three at the end of my turn for the next four turns now. He starts to do this stuff where he hits you real hard. So the dex is going to allow me to block for more. And take a little less damage. Um, Alright, so we're going to take 8 damage. Act 10, we healed 3, so technically we're going to lose 5 health. And he came out of it. This is where he gets scared. This is where we need to do 40 damage, or he's going to absolutely destroy our lives. Um, like, terribly destroy us. We have two cleaves, and that... We are not going... Uh, it's 20 damage we're going to take. I am not liking the way this looks. We can take 5th... Actually, we take a little less because that will reply 6. We still need to do 10 damage to get put him in defensive mode. Alright. Do that first. Oh, I forgot we had... Okay, we could have did a little different. That was okay, though. That makes it so you won't actually attack, because we put him in defensive mode. Uh, he's going to add the thing where we get hurt if we hit him again, and he's going to do a little bit lighter of attacks, which is, is again, it's a good thing. Uh, we're going to add 7 block, and we're going to force ourselves to take some damage here. We're going to make him vulnerable, and then we're going to do some more damage. We're going to take a... We're going to take a cleave back. I'm going to end our turn. We're doing relatively good. We have his health almost down to where our health is, which is generally a good sign. Um, although, he can, when he comes out of this, just absolutely decide to destroy us. We are going to take a lot of damage here. I think I'm almost okay taking it. I think I just want to bash cleave? Or strike, strike cleave? No, we're going to go for bash cleave. That uh, may have been a wrong move. I may have killed myself. I think we killed ourselves. We need to do 50 damage or he's going to absolutely destroy us. Good turn to draw that. It's going to make that not so bad. And free. 
Um, we want to do that because so we're going to get in some block and whatnot against it. And then... Pick a bit of a slower route and block more of it rather than doing a little more damage. I think his next turn is a scary turn. No. He's going to... That's defensive mode, isn't it? Well, really the only thing we can do is that that will take um, that back and then just block. Again, the dexterity is why we're getting two extra block, just for anyone who did not catch that yet. So he adds that to himself, which means you do quite a bit. There it is. That's not going to kill us. Um, not going to kill us. We're going to do that. I should have... Hmm. We're soaking that damage. We're going to just try to race him. Oh my god, if I played that first, he would have taken that one damage, went defensive, we wouldn't even be taking this right now. Alright. This is going to hurt. I think he attacks again. No, he's going to debuff or something. We can go for a kill. I forgot he did that. Alright. We're still in a good spot. We got him. This is a win. This is a win. Yeah. We do the cards we needed. It's over, good sir. We got a full heal, actually, after completing this act, which is nice. Plus, we get a boss relic, uh, as well as a nice card. I really like this, but we don't have the energy to keep it up. Um, upgrading the card would actually make it too energy to do it. Um, so that's all the cards in your hand. And deal 7 damage for each card you exhaust. We don't have a big deck. I mean, that's the best one. And I don't want to skip one of those. Uh, so give me a nice relic, please give me something awesome. For every five cards in your deck, you have two HP whenever you enter a rest site. That's interesting. Choose five cards to add to your deck or... Ooh. Gain it energy. It gives us an extra energy to play with, but they're going to be stronger at the beginning, which could easily kill us. I might regret this. This could be the end of the game. We're going to take that. But, um, anyways, guys, that's going to be Act 2. One complete. Uh, we're moving on to Act 2 next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, if you guys are still hanging out here to the end, please smack the like button, guys. This is one of my favorite games. I would love to keep uploading it to the channel. If it's something you want to see more of, definitely let me know. And, um, yeah, as always, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!